Good evening, guys. So I wanted to come here tonight and do a video. I wanted to cover um, a few things tonight. First off, as you can see, I have my newest um, addition to my collection here. Um, basically, I just wanted to do a size comparison of both of these girls. And, um, and I knew when I ordered or when I was expecting this beautiful little girl that she was going to be a little bigger, um, just by what the artist had stated. Um, she is kind of, I would say the size of twin B as I stated in the previous video. And I got to say, I believe that that body fits her better. Um, not to say that my little angel fern doesn't look cute in the small body but i noticed and i always noticed this before that if her arms were actually not bent up they would go probably to her knee as you can see she's touching almost there now if they were straight they would go to your knee and as a person if you're standing up and you put your arm straight down your tips of your fingers should touch the very top part of your thigh. So I feel like um, with this little girl here, if she was to straighten out, and I've, and this, let me just say this, this is both preemie size onesie. Um, fits her perfectly, obviously, but on her, it was really hard to get it on her. Um, I had to really pull it on her, so it's very tight. So Really, I just got her arms. It should be loose like this. But if her arm was straightened, she would be touching the top part of her thigh. So I feel like this body is more proper for her. I think it suits. And that's good because that makes her a small newborn. So if I wash newborn, especially Carter, um, that brand's probably one of the best. If I am to wash Carter Newborn, it should fit her perfectly. Now, I know that there is some preemie that's even tight on her. So, I always did feel like the body was very cute. I mean, it's a very nice body because it had that, that round, really um, authentic belly, if as you can see. But she just looked like she had very long limbs and a big head for the little small belly not that she doesn't look cute because she really does you see how the belly sticks out but she just has no butt <laughs> but I did notice that again if her if her little arms was to stretch out they would go probably to her knees but she still looks cute all in all so with this being the same sculpt I mean it's amazing to see how different from one artist to the next it's it's insane both beautiful um but i think i i prefer the bigger size you know because it's more cuddly so i may change her body i think maybe the thomas um real born body may fit her better i may try that once i get moved but I did want to mention, when I brushed her hair for this video, I was amazed. This hair, oh my goodness, I need to figure out exactly what this hair is. Because all I did was wet it, and it brushed right through, not one tangle. That's just amazing. I don't know if I showed you close up before, but look at this hair. I mean, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. <laughs> there she is. See how tight this is on her. I mean, I barely got on her. But look how gorgeous that hair is. And those beautiful eyes. So, basically this was just to show the size comparison um, from her to her. Not that she doesn't look absolutely darling, because she does. But I feel like... Um, if you look at this sculpt up, it says it should be 18 inches. Um, she is not. Um, and I and I wondered about that because when I was writing Darlene about her and I was letting her know that the one I had was not even close to that. She was confused and so was I. And, and I had to figure that the one I had, the body, was not correct. But all in all, it's a beautiful body, just not for her. Um, so eventually I might change it um, just so she can fit more clothing. But also in this video, I wanted to show a few things that I had picked up. 
that I've been dying to show you. And I wasn't sure if I showed you guys these shoes or not, but I was going to show them to you again. I had picked them up a while back, and I, I didn't know if I showed them in um, one of my haul videos or not. But I did pick those up. And also, I picked up some more receiving blankets, which I absolutely love this style. Um, I also went to Walmart because I'm really getting into these glass bottles. And the box was really messed up, and because of it, I got it for $4. But it's a very good bottle, and it is glass, so I thought that that was really cool. So I thought that was worth $4. So I picked that up. And I have a couple of these. I have one full size. And I have a small size that is the stars and the girl. And then I have the boy. Uh, I can't remember if it's elf. I'm not sure what the design is. But I do have one boy of these. These are one of my favorites. So I did pick up these. And also I know everybody loves the honest diapers. But I have been um, checking out the seven. 7th generation diapers, which is basically like the Honest diaper, but it's like $2 cheaper per bag or $4 per box. And, you know, they're supposed to be free and clear, safe and effective diapers specially designed to care for babies and the planet. So they're supposed to be, I don't know if they're made out of recyclable, but I know that they're free and clear and I thought that this design was just super cute because I know before they were just kind of brown but I think this new design this new design is just very cute they have the owls and a little teddy bear I'm not sure what that is with little hearts but I love them and they fit the babies really well so I did want to show this is size I believe this is size one um I guess if I felt fold it down, it probably would fit her. But I love these, and they are a couple dollars cheaper. So I hope that they come out with um, different brands. Also, I had picked up quite a few. I picked up four of these. I got the bunny and the bear. And then I got the boy and girl angel, which is actually propping their head up right now. So I don't want to pull them out. But I thought it was so cute. They, <laughs> yeah, so I thought they were just awesome. I got these at Walgreens for almost 70% off. I think I paid $2 and maybe $2.89, and they were originally $12.99, I believe. So awesome deal on those. So I thought those were really cute. Also, I know you guys saw this before, but I bought it in three to six months, so I had to get it in newborn. I loved it. And with her coming, I thought she was going to be more preemie, even though I have a couple preemies, so I didn't mind buying them. I found the cutest Carter outfits that normally you don't see in preemie. So here's the first one. It has the onesie with the top, and then the cute little ruffle pants at the bottom. So I thought that was super cute, so I picked that one up. And then they had this one, which has the sparkly princess, and then it has the castle onesie underneath with the little heart bomb and the little ruffles. I thought that was just super cute as well. Um, and then this one, I think this one's been out for a while. I just never had a chance to pick it up. It's the little monkey, the two little love monkeys um, with the onesie and the little monkey on the bum. And then... At Baby R Us, when I picked up um, Wyatt and um, the twins' outfit, Wyatt and Willow's outfits, I picked up these as well. And I don't remember if I showed you, so I was just going to show you. And these onesies are just the cutest. And as you can see, it's Chloe cool, Baby. And it could be for either girl or boy. So this one's like a gray bunny. And then they have... Um, a little baby blue elephant. And then one of my favorites, the little, it's like a beige or brown owl. And then the brown teddy bear. So I, I really thought these were really cute. Very good material. And they're the long sleeve, so those are super cute. So that's just a little small haul that I wanted to share with you guys. Because 
I've had some of this stuff for a while. I just haven't had a chance to um, tell you guys about it. So I thought I would do that on this video. Um, also, I had saw a video today that this little piggy 41 did a nest. Um, basically talking about your collection and the size of your collection and what it means to you. And, um, as she said, she's comfortable with no more than four, that that is her number and she has three right now. Um, and she stated her reasons of that. Um, I myself, as this moment, counting her now, I have 31 reborns. Um, and I think mainly because to me this is a collection. And when you collect something, most people collect to have the most of, to have certain ones, to have the most popular. So to me, it is just that, a collection. Now, that's not to say that I don't have certain ones that I use for comfort or that's my favorite or that's my forever baby. Now, I have about six of them that I consider my forever baby. Um, they're not going anywhere, you know, as of now. I mean, I know things change, things happen. But I would say at, at the very least, there's six of them that I would never part with, maybe seven. And there's one, just one that I... I got to say that is my go-to that I prefer holding, I prefer dressing, I, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I have this, this certain bond with her, whether it's because um, she kind of resembles my children or my family, um, she's the most cuddly, I don't know. I mean, I think it's all of those things. Um, so she's like the one if I had to get rid of my whole collection and only pick one, she would be that one. And I'm sure you guys have guessed it. It's my um, Skylar, my Aurora Sky by Laura Lee Eagles. So she's my ultimate favorite as it stands now. Um, but I love all my Reborns um, in their own different ways. Now there is about seven, which I have for sale that... Not that I didn't like them and not that their artwork wasn't beautiful because it is. It was just something once they got here, I realized it wasn't what I wanted in my collection. Um, and, and like I said, that's not to say that they weren't done beautifully because they were. Um, so yes, I eventually am going to sell those seven. But, you know, in this hobby, and this is just me, I feel like... A collection is a collection. You collect the most or more. And in in my collection, I like to collect, you know, unlimited or very little sculpts that's out there or very unique or most wanted. Um, and not only that, but I also like to collect different artist work so I can see you know, what one artist does compared to another, basically. Um, so that, to me, is important. I mean, that's part of the collection to me. I um, mean, I have a lot of set of twins, which all my twins, except for my A and B twin from Bonnie Brown, has been from different artists. So I get to see that artist's um, outlook of what that, that reborn should be, and to me that is also important. Um... As you guys all know, I'm moving to Florida, so I hope um, when we move, our, my ideal is to get a big enough house to where I have a nursery, and I would love to display all of them as a collection. So most of them will probably be on shelves, and those will be, as I consider, my display babies, and then I'll have those that I film and that I play with, so to say, or hold and dress, so forth. And I feel like if I ever get tired of the ones that I do um, keep in mind of every day, I could always rotate. I can always bring, you know, those babies off the shelf and give you guys something else to look at and also have for myself so I don't get bored, which I don't think I ever will. But if that, that comes to be, um, I will always have something new. Um, now, I do want to slow down, and now I'm going to make it a rule for myself that if I want a new baby, I need to sell a baby. 
because even if I have a nursery, I think more than 31 is just going to be, um, as long as I have good enough shelving to do so, I'll do that. But I need to make sure I still am not overwhelmed in that room with reborns. As long as they fit on the shelves and in the beds and the balances and it works out, that's great. Um, but again, like I said, I have seven reborns I want to sell. So, hey, that could be seven reborns I can buy. <laughs> I know, how bad is that? But no, to me, that that's a collection. I mean, um, I started out, I used to have, which I still have and I still do, I have scrapbooking. I love to scrapbook and I have so much scrapbook stuff and I love to do that. So that was something that I collect. And when I collect something, I go all out. I want everything, the best of, anything you can get, whatever, extras. So, yes, I have a huge, probably I could fill another half room just with my scrapbook collection. And then I also got on the kick of um, nail polish, but not just any nail polish. Um, the gel nail polish set is set in with the light. So I bought Salon um, Strength Light. cost me a lot, but it was well worth it. So I started collecting every color and everything you would need for that. So I can actually open up a salon. <laughs> but yeah, so I have actually three collections. And I'm very serious about my collection. So again, when I collect something, I am all out. So I don't know if that helps you at all, Ines. I hope it does. Um, but that's how I feel in my collection. I did, I did want to note, because you said some things about how you feel about how they look and, and so forth. You know, I have said before, I love the fact of the artwork of painted hair because some of these artists out here do oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork on hair. I mean, it, it almost looks real, if not, until you go to touch it. So to me, I feel like if you have... Um, painted hair that's more for the artwork that to me is considered a shelf baby because that is all art but if you're going for the realism of that baby I feel like it should be real hair rooted or bald because that is what realism to me is is you know the realistic point of having hair so I prefer that. Not to say that I don't like painted hair because I think that takes a lot of skill to do so to make it look real. And to me, that's a shelf baby. Um, that's one to just be admired on the shelf. And again, that's my opinion. And, and like I said, painted hair is a very good skill to have. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, so again, um, for this little piggy 41 and Ness, I hope this answers it. And, um, you kind of know where I'm coming from with my collection. Um, and it, I think it was a great topic. Um, I, I couldn't wait to do this video. So um, I hope to see another video and I hope this helped. And um, you guys have a good evening. Until the next video, I should be coming on here for my part two with Lily. So until then, you guys have a good evening. Goodbye.